What's going on, wonderful world of YouTube? Your boy has no voice today. I was at Supercross all day yesterday, but while I was at Supercross, a decent little package came. Other than the grips, the grips came the other day. Bike's looking good, she's dialed in. <clears throat> this is gonna be a really rough video with no voice, but uh, Deku approves. He's getting ready to get out and ride a moto. But, as you've seen in the thumbnail, something came in the mail, and it would be our Makuni VM22 replica carburetor, 26 millimeter. So let's take a closer look at what came in the box. We have the carburetor itself. Came with some hoses and stuff ready on it. Pretty nice. So far the quality is pretty good. I know this is a replica, but it does say, if I can get this to focus, Yeah, well, there it is. It does say Makuni on there. That's pretty cool, even though I know it's a replica. Uh, it was only 30 bucks. It came with the filter. It came with the gaskets. It came with the intake manifold. All that stuff for 30 bucks. It only took four days to get here. It's not bad. Um, and it does say made in Japan, but I'm pretty sure this thing was made in China. Or Japan, I don't know. Don't quote me. Um, but yeah, for 30 bucks, it's not bad what you get. So we're gonna throw this bad boy on the bike and then what sucks is the petcock that they sent me, which I ordered and you know, it's not their fault. I ordered, I got it, was the wrong size. So it doesn't fit on the tank. So I will not be able to fire the bike. Here is where this is. It is just a size too small on the threads. So um, I wonder if I can find a reducer or something that'll fit on there. But what I was thinking was, just running some hose from these of these and some clamps because all it has to do is sit there and get gas to the carburetor so um, wow that actually sits really far back there and the carburetor sits really far up there I just noticed that but uh, yeah we'll figure our gas situation out sometime soon but for today let's go ahead and get this carburetor installed quick side note Shout out to my local power sports shop, Sammy, and the guys over at Arlington Power Sports. Um, cool little pit bike shop. It's actually where I get a lot of my parts from and a lot of my chassis for my builds. But hooked your boy up with some new wheels for the Apollo. I would change them out, but the tires that are on the bike are already junk, so we got to order some more tires and uh, change out the wheel bearings in the front. Those are 15. I need 12s. But... Uh, he also sold me some bearings and stuff too, and I got these for a really killer deal. They're brand new. They're takeoffs. Um, they come on the Apollo RFZs, and I was like, you know what? Let me get a set. So, in another video, we'll talk about those once we get some tires and some meats mounted up on those bad boys. But for now, let's get back to putting the carb on here. Alright, so, I'm going to start by taking some of this stuff out because I have a feeling that the neck they sent me is a straight neck. So we won't be able to use it. <clears throat> Actually, we might be able to use, oh, we are definitely using this. It is a curved one, just like our current one, except for it's newer. So we're going to go ahead and take our old one off and put this new one on too as well. And it comes with the hardware. <clears throat> and like I said, it's got our gaskets and our spacer with the new o-ring pretty killer pretty killer so we'll go ahead and get this mocked up and uh... get this on the bike i wish i could start it today that would be dope and actually ride it around the block but i don't have a chain on here the wheels are just mocked up so it looks better sitting in the garage and keeps me motivated but yeah we'll get this thing on here All right, we got the old intake manifold off and then now we're going to put the new intake on. Uh, first, we're going to get the... Actually, we're going to use the new bolts, which they seem like they're really long for some new bolts. But then again, I could have just been using some random ones that I had in the toolbox. <coughs> but, no, now that I look at these, these bolts are really long. And I don't know if I want to put these through the intake part. So I'm going to use the old ones that I just took out. They're new anyways, so... They're brand new bolts in the bolt kit that I bought, so we'll go ahead and get that on, get the gasket on right there. Boom, and it's the same exact manifold, 
This one just looks a lot better because it's brand new. The other one is just, and somebody painted the other one, I believe. I don't, no, actually it came black. Yeah, we'll get this manifold on, which sticks out to the side, which is exactly what we need. And then we will start mounting our carburetor and then our air filter, and then we'll be done. Glad I remembered to do this because I almost forgot to put the throttle cable into the carburetor slide. And I was just going to mount up the carburetor and then it would have been really impossible to do it on the bike. But we have the intake manifold um, mounted. We have the carburetor slide and the spring and all that stuff in there. Now we just got to put it back inside the carb and put the carb on the bike. It's pretty simple. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. I almost forgot this part. And then we would just had a carb sitting on the bike and the throttle cable and the way that the gas tank and the frame sits. It would have been damn near impossible to put this on. So I'm glad I remembered because I looked down on the floor and I was just like, boom. <laughs> yeah, I know. Camera's off the tripod and that can only mean one thing. Good news, for Houston we have a problem. In Houston, we have a problem. Okay, so they sent me hardware. I used the old hardware down here to put the uh, intake onto the head, but they sent me these screws, and they're long enough, but as you can see right there, they don't thread into the carburetor like the old, like my old carburetor, they, the screws actually threaded in there. Okay, so these go into here, and then um, I might, yeah, and then I push that. And the screw doesn't even come all the way through. So I'm going to have to go and get some longer screws and then throw a um, nut on the back of there, which they don't supply. That is really, really weird. It makes no sense to me. So for now, we are <laughs> stuck from putting the carburetor on. I'm going to go check my bag of hardware real quick and see what the heck we got. But that is an issue right there. Shame on you, uh, whatever company I ordered this from. Uh, it's not your fault. It's probably the manufacturer, but that is a weird design, and it's just throwing me off. I can't believe they would send me bolts that aren't long enough to even throw nuts on if I had the nuts to throw on there, which they should have supplied, too, as well. I mean, that's pretty crazy. But, yeah, they're <laughs> not even long enough to go through for me to put a nut on, and they I could understand if they threaded, threaded in, but they don't thread in. That is so weird makes no sense to me at all so I was able to find a bolt that fits and um, I had to push really really hard because it was a uh, there was barely any thread coming through but we do have a bolt on there our carburetor is secure now I just gotta find another another nut for the other side to get that secure but our carbs on there our throttle is really really crisp I would I would twist it right now but it's way over there um, Last thing to do is get the air filter on, but it does. It feels really good. The slide and stuff feels really good. Um, like I said, we got to figure out a situation for our pet cock since we got it, um, the wrong one, or maybe I can find the wrong one. All the ones I looked at are all 13 mil, so that means this is probably a 15 mil. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this sucker off right there. Throw our air filter on, and then this install will be semi-complete. Um, actually, it'll be complete as of throwing the carburetor on. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this big, fat, juicy filter on, and she will be done. All right, and just like that, we have our filter on. We got our carb mounted. She's solid. She's not going anywhere. I went ahead and ran the hoses down there. The only thing we got to do is figure out how to run our uh, pet cock and do stuff like that. I went ahead and sealed it up in a bag. That way it doesn't get dirty and get any gas inside, I mean, any dirt inside there. Um, there is our Makuni carburetor. Um, with that bolt being on there, we still operate the choke. That's pretty nice. I like the way that feels too. That's really, really good. I like that they have that lever right there instead of having to twist and do all this crazy stuff. Yeah, but throttle is real good. Carburetor's mounted. There is our VM22 26 millimeter Makuni replica carb that just happens to say Makuni. It's probably made in China somewhere, but on the side of it is stamped made in Japan. They hope you guys appreciated this video. I mean, it's not like it was a how-to or an install. It's literally just two bolts, putting your throttle cable and stuff on. So um, instead of saying hope you guys appreciate this video, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, it gave you something to watch. Maybe you wanted to check out this carburetor, see if you uh, want to get it for yourself. It fits really good. Uh, when I get the bike up and going and running and our gas situation figured out, I'll be able to give you guys a review on how it responds. Um, 
Hopefully I won't have to change out any of the jetting or anything like that. Hopefully it complements this motor really well. This is the 125. Um, a lot of people run this on the 140s, 150s or something like that I've heard. Uh, 26 was the way to go. So I went ahead and got a 26. And uh, there it is. There she blows. Only thing left to do really is get our brakes and stuff mounted up. Or our brake situation figured out. I need to get a longer brake cable. And then I need to get a front caliper. I have a rear caliper. I have to get tires and tubes mounted on the new meats over there the new wheels baby's got new shoes um other than that our clutch is dialed in we have throttle she feels real good bike's got some nice grippy grips on there other than that this thing is probably a few days out from being able to hit the track i just got to get some tires and uh, get the new wheels and stuff mocked up but other than that baby is looking real good I'm excited to get this bike on the track, and I'm also excited and here in a few weeks to get out to the Pit Bike Nationals and uh, try to do some work, son. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.